All right, go ahead and tap the screen for hearts. You guys have got to see this. Holy cow, I'm gonna give one of my best tips for live streaming in less than 60 seconds, okay? My name is Ryan Steinolfs, and I'm just gonna keep it on, on that right there. No, you know what, I'm not. I'm actually gonna keep it on that right there. Um, wow, did you see that? I don't know if you saw that sunset though. I'm gonna show you the sunset here in a second. Holy cow, look at that. That is an amazing sunset. Yeah, I'm on the, at the, in San Diego here and downtown San Diego, look at, go ahead and invite your followers because we're gonna get an amazing, well, we have an amazing sunset, amazing sky. Hey, Icy, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Um, and hey, your next home, awesome. So my name is Ryan, I teach businesses, brands, and business owners how to um, get more customers online or and, and through live streaming. And yeah, it is awesome, isn't it? Thanks for sharing, uh, Dan Grell. And, my best tip, I'm going to give it really quick right up front because that's what I do. Uh, my best tip that I can possibly give, I think, one of my best tips is to pre-set or to have your actual titles ready. Nice, yeah, SD, no doubt. San, San Diego Sunset. Hey from Carlos Cabos, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Jason, hey, share this on Twitter. Share it on um Go ahead and um, invite your followers if you can. This is going to be a really cool one. So really quick, thanks for sharing it, Icy. Um, one of my best tips is is to do this really simply. Make sure, yeah, isn't that a sick view? This is the building that I live in. Um, hey, Ray, what's up, brother? Um, so really quick, guys, here's the tip. Make your titles ahead of time. Put them on your notepad, and thank you, Pixel, Palm Beach FL for, for doing that, for inviting. And uh, I'm using one of my strategies right now, the, the Weatherman strategy and the 3S strategy, which is the scenic scope strategy. And if you have your tip, if you have this tip down that I'm giving you right now, then you're going to put all three of those together and you're going to make an amazing scope, okay? Um, hey, and the reason why I was able to do this so quickly, hey, Sandy, is because I had my title already preset. I'm not using a selfie stick, I'm using my arm. So, um, hey, um, so it's so cool on the East Coast watching this, yeah, I know, right? So, um, so what's really cool is, is that you guys can do this if you have your titles already preset. Thanks, hey, Sunday Vital, awesome. Thanks for sharing. Looks, so my, actually there's my arm fully stretched out, but Ryan's tip, make your titles ahead of time, put them on, in your notepad, so you can copy and paste them. That's my that's my tip. So you can copy and paste them, guys. That's the key. When you can copy and paste them, then you can actually do some of these amazing scopes, like this one right now, where you've got this amazing backdrop behind you, okay? And it, it makes it much more engaging. And it, by the way, we teach these strategies in the live stream blueprint, so thanks, awesome. Um, copy and paste, absolutely. And I use Evernote. Um, so you just copy and paste with all the emoticons and everything in there. Okay, I know I read, yeah, thanks, awesome. Um, I know I've been mentioning this a lot. And thanks for inviting, doing, doing uh, my way life. Periscope Ryan, yes, text the word Periscope, thanks Jason. And that's the, another tip, okay, we call it the redundancy strategy. And this, again, is another one of um, about 15 strategies that we teach in the Livestream Blueprint. If you go to livestreamblueprint.com, um, you'll get your scope like a pro PDF, um, but basically, um, these are the strategies. I mean, it's you know using the weatherman strategy, using the the scenic scope strategy, where you can show off, you know, amazing clouds like that right now in the background, and you can talk about amazing topics because you're ready because you've got your, you know, you're using some of the strategies that I that I talk about, like you know putting your titles together ahead of time. Let me just I gotta look at that. And yeah, titles have to match. So look at this. So this is what I want. I wanted you to get. And also, you know, zooming in, zooming out. I've decided to get my first, you've got to. Because you can actually zoom in and zoom out on an iPhone. And let me just show you here. Look at that, guys. Check that out. Love the view. Thanks. Awesome. You got Uni Everybody follow Unique Genius. She's, Unique Genius. Um, Genius, she's awesome. Um, so guys, check this out. Ray, what's up, brother? Look at this. This is downtown San Diego, okay? And there you go. There's the financial district right, right over there. There's little Italy down there. You've got the, uh, the um, oh, you can't see them right here. I'm going to go over here. 
great tip. Didn't think about zooming. Ah, uh, you gotta. I give you guys a lot of tips. Actually, I used to work there. You did? Oh wow, that's cool. So check it out. So here, this is 11th Street right here, or sorry, this is 10th Street. Um, hope you zoom in. How do you? All you do is you just pinch the screen. You pinch the screen, pinch in, pinch out. Wow, that looks good. How do you zoom like that? All you do is you pinch in, and or and you pinch out on the on the iPhone. Which Olo clip? The Olo clip I'm using right now is this one right here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this. Here, here you go. It's this one right here. It's uh, one of a kind. Only one like this. You've got the fish eye and you've got the ultra wide. Um, I'm going to give you another really good tip, guys. Since we got 72 people in here, I'm really stoked. Um, I, I'm glad that we got you know a decent number of people in here. So this is the Olo clip. This is what I use. If you want any of this, any of this stuff like the Olo clip and which one to use for your iPhone, your Android, Greg, what's going on? Um, it does have a macro. It does not. Ha it does have a macro. This one does. Um, and if you want to know which one to get for your phone, then just go to PeriscopeRyan.com. Again, that's PeriscopeRyan.com. And uh, Sunday Vital. Thanks for uh, jumping in on the live stream blueprint. I just see that you that you did that. That's cool. So um, you have an iPhone 6. Awesome. Hey from Cocoa Beach. How's it going, Eric? Um, so this is again downtown San Diego. My name is Ryan Steinelson and. Periscope Ryan, and let me just show you. Hold on, sorry guys. So there's the fish eye. Now you can see it's not, it, it, it's a little bit fuzzier, but you get more in. You can see almost my entire body here. You can see I'm in my shorts as usual. Um, and what I'm doing again is I'm just trying to demonstrate model good behavior. Let me just clean that. That's just good maintenance. If you have an Olo clip, you want to always like clean that lens. Um, so let me just recap. So again, my name is Ryan Steinelson, otherwise known as Periscope Ryan, and I teach businesses, brands, and business owners how to get more customers using live stream. And, um, and I also am known as kind of a gadget guy. So I, uh, these fancy lenses don't work on Android. Oh man, they're not so fancy. There are, there are others. And that's why I'm saying go to Periscope Ryan because you'll get the lowdown on all that. Um, you can get a Yopo lens if you have an Android, for example. Um, San Diego gear, yeah. So, um, and again, one of my biggest tips, I'm just going to repeat the tip. The tip is, guys, have those titles already ready. Put them in your notepad, put them in Evernote, copy and paste them so that when you have, how did you read the, the chat while I wasn't, um, because it's, 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 we're, I'm in landscape mode. Now you can, you can actually stream in landscape mode. The best gadget guy, thank you. I think you're biased, but that's okay. I met Eunuch at the uh, Periscope Summit. We had a blast. So there's um, there's 10th Avenue right there. You can kind of see. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, is the lens sold at store or online? It's sold at every Apple store in the world. Um, actually, uh, my buddy uh, Patrick is the one one who invented it. And um, I'm actually um, going to potentially help them with their um, with their live streaming strategies. Um, and the reason why I, I, the way I was able to connect with them, does anybody want to know? And I'm going to use what's called the redundancy strategy here, okay? Uh, okay, everybody give me a, um, give me, let me know, um, uh, put, type in the word brands. Type in the word brands if you want to learn how I landed an opportunity to speak with John Ledger, the CEO of T-Mobile. Okay. Oh, there's good brands, 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 brands. Okay, so I'm giving you guys another really good tip. It's called the redundancy strategy. And here's what it, here's what it is. And if you're not following me, go ahead and follow, okay? Okay, it's, it's what I just did right there. If you have a topic that you want to talk about and you want, and you want to get social proof, because what that is is really social proof that you've got engagement. When people see that, it's very powerful. So I want you guys to do the same thing. That's another strategy that we teach. Thank you, Melkor. Late, but not, you know, that's good. At least you got in there. So what's really cool is, is that when people see that, then it, it, it reinforces what you're talking about, and it's called the redundancy strategy, and it's another thing that we, we teach in the live stream blueprint course. It's one of about 15. That's good, right? And what it does is it, is it gets everybody to see what it is that, that you're, you're, you're talking about, which is great, and it gives you social proof. So... The way that I got the attention of John Ledger from T-Mobile, and I got the lead, the thanks, the way that I got the attention, and it shows that yeah, of uh, that it shows that you're paying attention, right, J Jason, of um, uh, John Ledger, and then also 
of the Olo clip, it's social proof, exactly, is, guess what I did? I put the, word, the at symbol for their business in the Periscope title, which was then tweeted out, okay? Okay, and what happened is, is it goes to them, right? It goes directly to them. How cool is that? And then what I did is I did a Periscope about, obviously, that company or that topic, and then I shared it directly with that person or that company in Twitter using a DM, okay? Message before money and you win big time. No doubt, Alex. Message before money, I'm not, no, no question about it. I'm, I'm totally in agreement with that. I'm just giving people some, some good tips because this is really, this is how I got the attention of, of, of John and, and, um, and how I got the attention of Oloclip is I put that ad symbol in there. I used some, two hashtags. You want to use at least two if you can. And then um, he paid attention. He saw it. He, he, um, and, and I was able to schedule a time. And now we're going to, oh yeah, so have followers retweet, favorite the tweet, and then have the people that are actually watching the Periscope go and retweet and favorite the tweet. And then what you do is you forward that tweet to that person in DM with the Periscope, okay? Really, really cool. That's a very powerful strategy, okay? Now, I'm also going to give you another tip based on the new landscape I'm going to give you guys tons of value here, so please go ahead and retweet this um, and, and share it on Facebook because I'm giving you, if somebody wants a live stream, they're going to get it all right here, okay? You can DM unless, yeah, true, um, that is true, and, and tons of, so the, the person has to be following you in order for them to, in, in order for you to be able to DM them. He actually followed me after I did that scope because he got my tweet and he got my periscope without me even DMing it to him. John Ledger did. So really interesting. He's only following 99 people or 100 and something and I'm one of them. So um, as a result of this, the strategy that I just gave you. So finally, really quick, landscape portrait. One of the things that I'm going to suggest is that when you start your scope, that you start it like this, okay? You start it in what we call portrait, not in landscape. I love me some landscape, okay? Here's why, because when the tweet is created, what happens is, and I've seen this happen a lot, at least right now, until they fix it, I am starting like this in portrait, and then I'm going to landscape because it will actually, Twitter will turn the image sideways in the image that it creates in, in the, on Twitter. I hope that makes sense. So if you do it this way though, it actually creates a correct image that's not sideways. And if you guys got benefit out of that, then just type the word landscape or portrait in, portrait. Type the word portrait in if you understood what I just shared with you. Yes, portrait. So again, start this way, start in portrait. Okay, awesome, portrait. What up, Bill? Bill was just in my live stream blueprint course. Portrait, awesome. So we got some, some good social proof. Again, that's the redundancy strategy. Um, one issue with landscape is if you download to your phone, the recording is always sideways. Yes, portrait. Okay, crap didn't fall. <laughs> Killer course. All right, so awesome. Thanks, Bill. Portrait in, landscape out. That's what, right? Portrait in, landscape. Great, I love that. When I was in landscape, the, the chat went sideways. Yeah. It, now you got to do the update, and, and it will be it'll be regular. So anyway, one last view of the city there. You can see the lights are all going on, pretty cool. That's with the um, the ultra wide lens. That's without it. I just sent iMovie to flip video, and I just edited in iMovie and flipped the video in post. Yeah, good. That's a great suggestion. Just joining. Hey Ryan, great feeling. Oh, awesome. It was great. Who was that? Thanks for the tips. Very helpful. Fullscope.tv looks cool. Yes. I know, that's another thing I wanted to let you guys know about really quick. Um, again, go to, go to LivestreamBlueprint.com to learn more about how to live stream for your business and get the, um, the Scope Like a Pro PDF. Um, go to Periscope Brian if you want links to all the stuff, the gadgets that you need um, to, make your, to enhance your live streams. One final thing, full scope. I'm working with, um, uh, with Casey Zeman on this. Thank you, Alex. And we are, we're coming, we're, now when, when Alex Pettit announced this at Periscope Summit, people's jaws just about hit the ground. Because what we're coming up with is we're coming up with statistics. Who you're, who you're most, 
who's the person, for example, that hearted you the most on a scope? Who's the person that commented the most? Who does that on a regular basis? And yes, it's at fullscope.tv. So that's part of, um, you know, Casey and I have been working on that and talking about it for a while. And uh, he's got a full team and, and we've been like brainstorming on it for going on two months now. And we're just blown away when Alex said that, made the announcement yesterday or last week. And, um, and I, I pulled Alex aside and I said, uh, love stats. I do love stats. It'll be more powerful than catch.me. It will be because of the marketing aspect. And that's what's really powerful. It's, I'm a marketer, as you know. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have some fun with it. So um, anyway, hope you guys had some fun tonight. I know I did. And it's downtown SD. Can you talk about the stats that show at the end of the broadcast? They don't seem to. Yeah. They're not too accurate, I have to say. I geek out bad with stats. Oh, you're going to love this, Jason, then. Missed me. I didn't miss that. Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, all right, guys. I'm going to jump. Wait, before I do that, one final parting. Check this out, guys. Seriously. Come on now. Tap the screen for hearts. Look at this. Seriously, come on. Hey, thanks, Jason. Jason is a big dude, by the way. I did not know he was six foot five. Here, hold on. Check this out. Look at that. Look at the, see the lights over there? Isn't that cool? Broadcasts are kept, yes, they are kept less than 24 hours on Periscope. Look at all the people in the streets. Right, I need broad, I know you do, Deb. We're going to get you broadcasting stats. We're going to, that's why we, more than that, we're going to get you marketing, a marketing tool. Oh, what, I'm sorry, Gil, I, I, I missed, okay, sorry about that, the Paleo Stew, I, I thought, I, I didn't see you, the Paleo Stew, hey, look at that skyline, you know what, here, hold on, wish I was 6'5", right, you know what one I mean, yes, I do, dope scope, thanks, Carrie. Hey, what's going on? So, are you gonna? I'm gonna actually get on with um, Civilized Caveman here in a little bit, uh, George, George Bryant. So I know you know George. I'm sure you know George, George Bryant, Mr. Paleo Civilized Caveman. Yeah, George, always great scopes. Thanks. All right, there we go. What's full scope? Fullscope.tv. Best tip to broadcast with gorgeous. Exactly right. Best tip to broadcast with gorgeous geeks. That's one of the good tips, right? Always, and, and again, here, let me just reiterate. Look, guys, I'm telling you, that is, that is one of my secrets to my success. I'll just tell you, is that I broadcast, I broadcast, make no mistake about it, I, I broadcast with good tips. I also broadcast with really good scenes. And that's what makes, it's like a third person in your scopes. So when you add, it's, it's so you've got your content, you've got yourself, and then you've got your backdrop. And you can highlight your backdrop, and it creates a, a much more engaging scope. It, may, it just makes it much, it just makes it, it's, it becomes more of an education as, a poor, as opposed to education or entertainment by itself. Periscope didn't work when I was trying to share them. Oh no, broadcast with good scenes and tips. Absolutely, both at the same time. Why do you, why not just why why just one? And the Nolo clip does help exactly. Yes, because I've seen horrible backgrounds and backlighting. Yeah, look at it and bad lighting exactly. Beautiful pro effect. Thanks. And this is what's so cool. I mean, I'm telling you guys, like everybody can do this. You know, I I want better scopes. You know, that's why I'm teaching this stuff. You know, I want better scopes. I want people to zoom in. You know, video should be visually appealing. Exactly. I see in the Paleo scope. How much is the clip? It's 99 bucks. You can go to, and by the way, those are links. Another, another tip, whenever you have any affiliate links, you've got to disclose. And uh, my buddy Mitch Jackson would tell you that. He's a great attorney, great live streaming attorney. Um, how do you zoom? You just, you just pinch the screen. Grow selfie arms. Exactly pixel so um anyway all right guys i'm gonna jump thanks thanks for joining me tonight and uh or else you know like mark shaw says if i didn't have you guys i'd be talking into my iphone case so um 
Oh, check it out. By the way, get get the uh, the microphones as well, guys. All right, thanks, Carrie. Thanks, the Starters Club. Let people know about this. Tweet it out. I think it was really there's a lot of value here tonight. I try to I tried to bring it. Okay, so um, tweet it out, Facebook it out, opt in, go and and uh, and and get the get all the links. Um, and you bet, awesome guys. Don't jump. <laughs> Thanks. That was fun.